Good morning. It is Saturday, November 17th. I have been, I'm back at Santan. This is where I go, Santan Mountain Regional Park. It's right by my house. It's like less than, takes less than 15 minutes to get here. So I'm here today. Talked to Carl last night. Carl's leg is feeling better, but he's not quite ready to run. I've done about 19 and a half miles and uh, I'm on my way back to the parking lot right now. Um, <laughs> so I think I'm gonna end up with about 21 miles, something like that. Um, I forgot how far that is and I forgot how hard that, that is. It, uh, it's a little harder than I thought it was gonna be, but I also think I made, I make a pretty good time. I'm at a, just under a 14 minute mile pace. Um, and I'll take it, that's okay. Uh, certainly not blazing fast, but I've kind of run into some problems today. My um, left hip is really bothering me. It's, it's, hurt, it's been hurting a lot. And, um, you know, I sat down on, the, on one of those benches for like five minutes and it made a huge difference. But I don't know what's going on. It's, I've been having to limp a little bit and that's not good. So it's just a little really, um, I don't know how to describe the pain, but so I feel this sort of rolling and popping sensation and right around my hip, it kind of stretches around just below my waist. So if any of you know what that is, please let me know, put it in the comments down there. Um, Cause I need to figure out, I need to straighten that out. But I wanted to tell you all something cool that happened yesterday. Uh, I have been communicating with a guy by the name of Jared Greer for, I don't know, almost two years now, I think. Anyways, um, he is a business coach, an executive coach, a life coach. He's the founder of the Greer Method, or Greer Method. And my understanding it is achieving results through a well-formulated plan and consistency over time. So it's pretty cool. And he is a, He's done the Grand Canyon multiple times. He is a nine time uh, Ironman triathlon finisher. That's incredible. And he invited me to be on his podcast. And we did an interview yesterday morning. It was live at 11 o'clock Arizona time, street, live streaming on Facebook. And uh, if you're interested in hearing in watching that or taking a look at that, I'll put it in the comments below. It'll give you a, put a link down there. Also, I wanted to tell you some other news is, as you know, if you've been watching, I kind of started getting into writing and I'm having a lot of fun doing that. So I put out my first ebook. It's all about how to stop procrastination. It's called Procrastination, Stop the Thief of Your Future. Five simple ways to stop procrastination. Now, that's for sale on Amazon. It's super cheap, it's only like 99 cents. So if you're interested in that, I'll link that up in the description as well. I'm also working on another book. If you've been watching, you may know that five months ago, I started a ketogenic diet, keto. So it's a high fat, low carb diet. And when I first started, I got a lot of mixed sort of reactions when I said I was doing keto or going to do keto. And you know, from encouragement saying, yeah, go for it, that's awesome, to the other extreme, urging me very strongly not to do it. Very concerned for me, which I think is cool. So I went ahead and went, went and did it. And what I was doing it for was to train my body to burn fat as fuel and not have to rely on carbs so much. And so you are reducing or eliminating the possibility of a bonk, right? And I just thought that was pretty cool, so I wanted to do it. Well, five months later, things are still going great. And, you know, I think I'm getting the results that I was, was after. I'm fairly confident of that. As my training has improved. I found that I can do a lot more and not have to eat as much. And, uh, so far, um, I feel pretty good. But there are a lot of unexpected benefits. Benefits to that diet that I had no idea would be, would come along with it. And that's kind of what the book is about. 
One of those is such an incredible and rapid weight loss. I have lost 20 pounds. And that all came off actually in about six to eight weeks. So that was unexpected and cool. I knew that a lot of people would go on keto to lose weight, but that was not my goal. Um, but I'll take it. Having, you know, weighing less makes it a lot easier to go up hills. Like I'm going up a hill right now. Um, and it's really not that, that, not that hard. So that's pretty cool. Um, but there's so many other benefits that are hard to, it's just, just very unexpected and just incredibly awesome. So something like no more afternoon crash, sleeping better at night, having even energy throughout the day and mental clarity, able to focus, uh, improved memory, just a bunch of things, just awesome. So that book will be coming out soon. Um, just currently doing some editing. Um, and as soon as it is, I'll let you know, and I'll put it out there if anyone's interested. So I'm having a lot of fun doing the riding, so I'm gonna keep doing it. And as far as the Grand Canyon is concerned, we still don't have a firm date for that. We just have a firm decision to actually go. We will be going. I just wanna feel confident about my conditioning. I feel, I'll feel like I lost a lot. I lost a lot more than I thought when I was sick. So we're getting that back. But I wanted to give you an update. <laughs> I figured out that in the last year, I've run about 1,100 miles, a little over 1,100 miles, somewhere around there. I have lost 30 pounds and all of my toenails, <laughs> except for one. One of those toenails is hanging on. He's the, he's the proud soldier who won't give up the, the fight. But uh, of course they all grow back and everything. I don't know how much elevation gain. I haven't figured that out. But when I look back on that, I think, wow, that's considerable. That's pretty cool. As soon as I have a uh, definite decision when we're going back to the Grand Canyon, um, I'll let you know. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great week.